Hi there, and welcome to another little report from the Great Lakes Commons map. I'm Paul. Uh, Kayla and I crossed over from Niagara on the Lake to the United States. Uh, not necessarily the greatest crossing with all the cars and the trucks, but we made it there without a map. And uh, there's a welcome to New York State. So we're quite happy to start this American part of our journey. We knew we were in America when we saw this blow up doll on someone's lawn. For me, one of the most exciting parts uh, when we first got there to Four Mile Creek was looking at the Toronto skyline. And even though there was no swimming, we didn't see this sign, we did go in the water. Uh, it wasn't the cleanest. We did see a lot of, uh, well, I guess algae. We spoke to one man and his two daughters about their uh, connection with Lake Ontario and how they thought the water could be cleaned up or improved. And here's what they had to say about the conditions of Lake Ontario. I grew up here my whole life and I've seen it, the lake go through some changes. Definitely better now than it was in the 60s, around 1960 and, uh, you know, 65. Uh, but I'm not sure how long it takes the lake to totally recover. It's definitely better, it smells better, it looks better. Okay. I'd like to find the research on what that is, what that green stuff is myself. Yeah, do you feel, do you feel like the newspapers or the school system teaches us enough about our no. precious resource? Or? I don't, no, no. Um, as a teacher, retired teacher myself, I, I got into it a little bit with my kids and everything that I mentioned was brand new. Yeah. Even about the, the uh, how the water cycles through the, the five great lakes and the Niagara, how it comes over Niagara Falls and out to the, it was all brand new to the kids who lived within a stone's throw of the lake. Yeah. No, this education is not being... So what, do you, what, what does the word water stewardship mean to you? What, are, what, is, what would that be like, water stewardship? Uh, I'm very much into it. I think we should take care of it. But we have to find a balance. Uh, we have to have people, we have a lot of people on this planet now and they have to have jobs. And we have to find some way. But I think it can be done with the technology that we have. I think we can use it for manufacturing and not add any more. I think it can be done. I don't know how, but I think it can be done. Huh. And what does the idea of a water commons mean to you? Water commons? Yeah. I mean like... Uh, the commons and the water being part of the like the air, the water, sure. the yeah. intellectual property. What is that? I mean... I, I, the, I would wonder... Uh, the things we share. I sometimes wonder what it was like when the, when the colonists were uh, English and the, when the first came here. And the French first came here, what it was like, how pure the water must have been, and how how the land must have been so filled with wild animals. And, and yeah. such. Uh, of course, we'll never get that back. You think so? You never? No, not in my lifetime. All right. What about your daughters? What, what are you guys collecting? Can you, do you want to share? What are you collecting? Sea glass. Sea glass. Um, and where do you guys swim around here? Where do you guys swim? Uh, here's a beach down there. What's it called? Uh, Molson Pool. Pool. Speak up. Speak it's up. okay. It's okay. Yeah. There you, cool. go. you think you think this will be? You think this will be? You think? Are you ready to take on cleaning up Lake Ontario so that your kids can um, swim here and drink the water and fish and eat the fish? Yeah. What is? Uh, you gotta think about careers for when you grow up. <laughs> the new emerging uh, career. We what were talking you... about you being a marine biologist the other day. Oh. What was the topic on that? What were we watching? Or... What was she going? To... She was diving down to get something. Though. I can't remember. Oh yeah, just to just to look at the uh, gelatinous fish in the middle zone of, of the ocean. Oh. Wow. Oh, a lot. What do you guys love about being down by the water? What do you love about the water? Great question. Speak up. What do you love about the water? Yeah, I like to see all the different rocks and life. Yeah. What do you like about being down here, coming out on your, on your weekends? Uh, I like to find cool things. Like once, once I found a piece of plate and I found clams. Yeah, a little discovery spot, eh? You never know what you're going to find on the shore. So thanks so much. Thanks so much. You're